Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to recreate a corrupted profile in Windows 10. Hope you find this guide useful. If you do, please help me out by subscribing to my channel. Okay, before you try and recreate uh, the profile, just check on the C drive to make sure that um, there is enough space. Uh, so here we can see there's 15 gig of free space. Uh, sometimes I've thought that the profile is corrupted, it's not, it's just because the C drive is out of disk space. So we can see here we've got plenty of disk space, so let's go and recreate the profile. So we can see here I'm logged on with the Chris profile. I want to recreate uh, that profile, so I'm just going to log out. It's best if you actually restart your machine. Because uh, Chris is logged on at the moment, he might log out and there could be some sort of corruption and the operating system holds a lock to that file so he won't be able to delete uh, his profile properly. Um, so restart your machine. When you log back in, don't log in as the profile that you want to recreate, obviously. You need to log on with a different login. So here I've got a JSON account. I'm just going to log in with this one. Uh, this account also needs to be an administrator on this Windows 10 machine. Okay, so we're at the desktop now. So the first thing we need to do is if you open up File Explorer, click on this PC, click on the C drive, go to Users, then here we can see I've created it a couple of times already, um, but the Chris folder just rename that to old at the end because when Chris will log on next it's going to create a new Chris folder uh, you can see here for my JSON account that's the uh, folder that he uses for there the reason why I've renamed that is because if we just go into there there might be some files that he needs so he might have for example some contacts uh, they might have put some files on their desktop, they might have saved some documents into my documents, which is this location. So make sure that there's no Chris folder. And then close down File Explorer. Click on the Start menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Now just right click on there and then select Run as Administrator. If you get this prompt up, just click yes. Okay, so if I just go back to the root, so we need to go to local machine, then down to software, then down to Microsoft, now down to Windows NT. Uh, then current version now profile list okay so under this profile list folder um, it's going to have all of the user accounts on this machine so if we click on the first one there this is the system profile login uh, this one's uh, the local service so you need to click on all of these um, folders to find the Chris account um, I know it's going to be one of these long ones, so if we click on here, we can see here it says C users JSON, so that's my account, so that is the wrong one. We need to click on this one, and we can see here it's C users Chris. So this is Chris's account, so what we need to do is just right click on there and delete. Uh, there's no point in renaming it, uh, we won't need this information back, so if you just click on delete, and yes, so all of his profile is now off of this machine. So if we just, uh, it's recommended again to restart, but I'm just going to log out and log back in. This is a bit quicker for this video. Okay, so if we select the Chris profile and log back in, uh, Chris's profile will now be a fresh profile. So we can see there, it's as if he's logging on for the first time. You might need to um, add some things back, like maybe if you had some bookmarks, um, certain applications require you to put settings back, like your Outlook, you might need to reconfigure your password and server in there as well. 
but as soon as you get to this desktop it's going to be a fresh profile and whatever issue you had before uh, should now be resolved if you have any questions on this process please post them in the comment below and i'll be sure to help you out if you need it but thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video